At 25, I was married and living in Brentwood in a small house we had just purchased through the GI Bill of Rights. My uh, wife and I, uh, we were married in 1945, in June of 1945, June 26th. She worked for Union Electric. She was what they called a junior adjuster. And I was working for the East St. Louis Journal as an apprentice stereotyper. My uh, fellow I was in the Marine Corps with had a father who was the foreman of the East St. Louis Journal stereotype room. And uh, I was able to get on there at at the time, it was quite difficult because it was a closed union and really the jobs went from father to son, but uh, it was a way to provide income. It wasn't exactly looking for something to do that you wanted to do. If I found what I wanted to do, I'd probably been a fishing guide or something, but uh, that wouldn't have paid enough money to take care of the obligations that I had. So you had to eat and uh, provide shelter. You kind of, you had a chance to get a job and an income of sorts and you grabbed it. If I made a dollar and a half an hour, that was big money. My uh, wife, she made about $40 a week and I made a little more kind of live from paycheck to paycheck. If something went wrong and we couldn't work, you, uh, you were in a hell of a shape. When I was working for the union, a lot of stress there, negotiating with the publishers and the printers. Uh, but that, that was job stress, so that's really nothing to be concerned with. I think stress, sometimes you create your own, you know. And I think you have to recognize what you can change and what you can't. Oh, from 1947 till 1968, or 67, about 20 years. And the reason I left the job, uh, it was being phased out because we were doing letterpress stereotyping and the newspapers were all going to offset so the jobs would have been eliminated. So I saw looking for a different outlet or different place to work and we found uh, this vacant lot up here on Lindbergh and we rented it and started selling trees and bushes and trying to make something out of that. And we were there for 33 years. We were just blindfolding ourselves and walking forward and hoping it turned up. I think all your experiences of, it's, it's a form of education. I mean, that is your education. It's not schooling. Of course, schooling isn't education. Education is what you learn and you can live by and utilize to go to school forever and not be educated. It, uh, it, it wasn't a passion or special. It, I think it was a maybe pride that you didn't want to start something that wasn't successful. And uh, had you not gone all out for it, it might not have been successful. You know, I really didn't probably unwittingly or unknowingly, didn't even sit down to think about it. It was all live now and try to try to create what you can and just don't take things too seriously because you don't have a whole lot of control over what's going to happen. Mm -hmm.